Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's one of my Five Nights of Frights video, so I hope you guys really enjoy this. Um, if you haven't watched the first one, go ahead and check that out after this one. Um, so today I'm just doing Freddy Krueger. So the first thing that I did was block out my eyebrows, but I've shown that a couple times. Shown it that a couple times on my channel here. So I didn't want to do that whole process again. It does take quite a while. So then I am, and I'm not the best at it either. You can kind of see they're only half blocked out. But then I'm going um, and just making these circles where I want the burn marks to be. Um, just with my water activated paint, it's the red color obviously. I end up going in and filling in the eye part just pure red afterwards but then I also put little marks too because not all of them are going to be in a circle shape. So then I just fill in the red around my eyes so it kind of looks like my eyes almost got burned out. And So, um, a lot of this is going to be with props because I had a hat and then obviously a red shirt to go with it as well. Because he wears a red shirt, I have a red shirt as well. And then I had the hat and the hand or the glove as well. So, um, those props definitely play in as well. And then the texture that I add later. So I'm just filling those circles in, so I will be back after I'm done, and there's not much to say after that. Okay, so then what I'm doing here is I'm just going around all of the painted spots I had and just drawing a little bit more depth with um, some red eyeshadows. So you don't necessarily have to do this because you do go over with latex and blood, but I just like to have added depth. But yeah, I'm filling those in, well, around them. And then... After that is where we go with the latex. Mine, I have like a really dry spot on my latex for some reason. I used the Ben Nye one, which it usually never happens. But then I'm just going right around um, those burn marks. That's where you're going to get um, the real uh, texture is by doing that. So that's what I do, and you just need a thin layer around it all, and then after that I go in and I start pulling a little bit at it with um, one of my SFX tools. Just to give it even more texture, see that, oh nope, that's not an SFX tool, that's just like a rhinestone thing to put like rhinestones on your face. So I do that and then I just add some blood and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the tutorial and enjoyed this makeup look. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.